You know, lately I've been wondering, why is Zamazenta in the OU tier? Well, after today's Wi-Fi battle, I'm going to show you guys that he needs to go back to Ubers with his counterparts. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone, to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we have a battle against Aiden in an amazing OU mixed Wi-Fi battle with our defensive Zamazenta team. Be sure to head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in a battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a goal of 50 likes on today's video, so help us out by leaving a thumbs up and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the team preview against Aiden all right so today as you guys see on your screen we're gonna be taking on Aiden who has a pretty interesting looking team and the reason why is I usually wouldn't take a Wi-Fi battle like this however I think we have a great matchup and the reason why I say that is because he has a mono steel team and I kind of really like it I'm a little terrified of Magirna however I have a couple of things in the back to take on a steel type Pokemon team. For example, I have a Zamazenta who has close combat, who's fighting type, who's also steel Terra. I have my Torterra who's also a Terra Fire as well as Headlong Rush, um, as well as a Don Cannon who can pretty much hit everything on his team with a Armor Cannon. And then last but not least, I do have a Coquavel with close combat as well. So I actually have a, uh, a Tornadus with Heat Wave as well. So I'm actually not terrified of this steel team. So today, as, you, as I just explained, we are going to be using our Shell Smash Torterra team, which I'm excited to use, honestly. I'm really excited to use. Uh, the only thing is, is if we get rid of the Corviknight first, we should be okay. So you know what? I'm actually going to lead off with Don Cannon first, the uh, Armor Rouge, just because we can hit something hard with a huge, 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 huge Armor Cannon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Wi-Fi battle. Okay, so Hayden's gonna lead off with the Bronzong, the shiny Bronzong, might I add. I actually really like shiny Bronzong. Today, we're gonna lead off with our shiny Armor Rouge, so we're gonna have a shiny, shiny off. Now, the only thing is here is I'm a little bit terrified if this thing is Levitate or if it's Heat Proof. I haven't seen Heat Proof, um, I haven't seen Heat Proof Bronzong in a while. If it's Heat Proof, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be so shocked. However, I'm gonna go for an Armor Cannon first turn. I like where this is going. How much is this, how much is this doing? Please, how much is it doing? Okay, so we do live. I'm just curious if that's, are you Heat Proof? Okay, so he does get the Stealth Rocks up, which is actually good to know. So, the question is, is what does he switch into? I don't think he has any switches into an armor cannon. I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna swap out, or sorry, not gonna swap out. I'm gonna go for an armor cannon again. He has nothing that wants to take an armor cannon. And the thing is, if we kill the bronze on here, perfectly fine. You wanna know why? Because we can literally just switch into Zamazenta. We can switch into Tornadus. We can switch into, um, what's it called? The Torterra. There's a lot of switches that we could go into, but either way, he's just gonna stay in and take the armor cannon. So that's actually really good to know. So, that's one big thread down. Now, the only thing is he does still have, or he does have Stealth Rocks up, which is a little scary. Uh, however, I don't know what he goes into. Although I know for a fact that I need to switch out. The question is, I don't know what I want to switch out into. I think my switch would probably be, I don't know about Tornadus. Tornadus is a little bit scary, but he's actually going to Magnezone here. Okay, so the only thing is I can't switch into I cannot switch into the, what's it called? I cannot switch into my, um, I can't switch into Tornadus just because I don't want to take a Volt Switch. I can't go into Sparks because Sparks really doesn't have a great matchup here. I could go into Coquavel. I, however, I do feel like a Volt Switch is coming. I think a Volt Switch is going to come. So you know what? I'm going to go into my Torterra. I feel like my Torterra has the best matchup here. The only thing is I'm a little bit terrified of the, what's it called? The Corviknight. But does he go for the Volt Switch? We are going to take a little bit of Stealth Rock damage. That's fine. Does he go for a Volt Switch? Goes for a Thunderbolt. Okay, so that's actually really good to know because we get basically a free Shell Smash off here. Ah, uh, the only thing is I'm just so scared. Actually, I could go for a Headlong Rush because then if he goes into Corviknight, we can easily swap into like Tornadus or the, um, or the Coquavel to get our Stealth Rocks away. And I'd rather Rapid Spin them away. So you know what? I'm going to Headlong Rush here. He's going to withdraw Magnezone. Does he go into Corviknight? Do you go into Corviknight? Goes into Corviknight. Okay. Well, either way, listen, I, I would rather go for a headlong rush and not lose my Torterra because obviously I don't think, I honestly don't see any moves hitting this thing with this guy. So, um, what is the play here? I could go into Parasheet or Parasheesh, you know, Parasheesh. Because once I get this Corviknight gone, dude, 
it's goodbye for his team. It is absolutely goodbye for his team. So, uh, you know what? Let's go into Parashish. We have heavy-duty boots. We can take whatever that thing wants to go for and honestly just get a huge heat wave off on whatever we want to do. Good thing is we do have heat waves, so that's actually really nice. So is he going to U-turn? He's actually going to bulk up here, so that's actually really... F that's actually fine. I'm actually cool with that. Just because I don't really see this thing having anything. And if he wants to go for a Brave Bird and hit us hard, he's going to have to take some recoil. So you know what? I'm going for a heat wave. I'm going for a heat wave. We get the heat wave off. Perfect. How much is this doing? Ooh, it does over half. Super nice. So he's going to Iron Head here. That's perfectly fine because since we move first, we obviously uh, take this thing on. So you know what? Heat wave again, baby. He has nothing that wants to switch into a heat wave. You have nothing. And the good thing is we pretty much outspeed all of his Pokemon. And I know for a fact he's not going to switch into Scizor. Even though Scizor would be the best matchup just because with a bullet punch, it would take us out. So we're actually getting pretty blessed with having a lot of fire type attack or ground type or fighting. So honestly, steel type, very good defensively, not good against super effective moves. So he's actually going to Terrastalize here. Does he have Terra Water? If you have Terra Water, I might just cry. I might just cry if you have Terra Water. Actually, Terra Flying. Okay, well, the thing is, I, I, if we don't miss... If we don't miss this, I still think we're going to hit. We do land the heat wave. I think we kill. No, we don't kill. Does he roost? He's going to roost. Okay. So that's actually... Mm, a roost does kind of suck. So the question is, do I go for the super effective bleak, or bleak wind storm? Or do I go for a another heat wave? I'm going to go for a bleak wind storm. We do land the bleak wind storm. How much is that doing? Almost takes it out. No. And he's going to roost again. Okay. Wow, buddy. Buddy wants this win for facts. Buddy wants this win without a doubt. So you know what? Let's go for another bleak wind storm. He's probably going to bank on us missing. Oh, we take it out with the crit. That's what you get. That's what you get trying to roost stall me, baby. It ain't happening. All right. So here's the best part. The best part is, is we finally have the Corviknight gone. So if Parashish dies, Parashish, if Parashish dies, perfectly fine because we do have the Torterra in the back. So you know what? Let's get some damage off. Let's go for a heat wave here. We do land the heat wave. Perfect. Gonna do about a quarter. So that's actually fine. He is gonna Volt Switch, unfortunately, but the good thing is for us is we're at least gonna get... Uh, that was actually a crit. So a little a, a crit for crit. A little trade. But I'm thankful for that because... Oh, Soul Heart. Oh. Oh, but... Uh, <laughs> So hard don't matter if you're going to Volt Switch. I don't know about that play. That play was actually a little shaky for me. I would have just went for something else, to be honest. But he is going to go into Rever Room here. Mm, this could be a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, and he has an Air Balloon. So he does have an Air Balloon. That's actually really good to know. Um. Okay, so I think here we have to go into Don Cannon. We have to go into Don Cannon, and the reason why I have to go into Don Cannon is because I want the Armor Cannon. The good thing is, is if he hits us physically, he's going to activate our weak armor. So let's just go ahead and go for an Armor Cannon. Nothing on his team wants to take it. Ah, oh, an Air Balloon kind of sucks. But the best part is if, he, if we do pop the Air Balloon, and, and like let's say it lives, and we do pop the Air Balloon, the good thing is at least we can send in our Torterra and set up. Okay, so he is going to withdraw the Rever Room. Who do you go into? Gonna go into Magirna. I don't think Magirna takes this. I don't think Magirna takes this at all. Because this is a stab armor cannon. Oh, it took it. Oh, that took it. I didn't expect that. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, man, that actually kind of stinks. I'm not going to lie. Okay, actually, I'm not worried about it just because if that's the case, I can Terra. Okay, I'm going to go for another armor cannon. We all sped. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I needed that. I needed that so big. I needed that outspeed so big. Okay. So we're not actually sitting too bad. The only thing is I need to preserve this guy. So if I get the chance to go into Kakuevil, I need to do that. I need to do that ASAP. I did not expect outspeed. Wow. Okay, so now he's going to go into Scizor. This is perfectly fine because I have a whole... I'm talking a whole Zamazenta in the back. And Zamazenta is defensive as ever because I'm going to get my Dauntless Shield boost here. So that's actually really nice. 
And the good thing is I can just wall the heck out of this thing. Actually, I can really wall the heck out of his team with alone my Zamazenta, I think. Because all I got to do is just body press, or not body press. Um, all I got to do is just, uh, ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. This just got a little interesting, boys and girls. This just got a little interesting. Actually, I'm not super scared, actually. I'm not super scared. Uh, just because I'm going to iron defense here. I'm going to iron defense, and we have speed. Let's go. We can easily wall. We can easily wall. We're at plus three defense now. He's at plus two. He's going for the sword dance. Perfectly fine, brother. Perfectly fine. I am one of the most defensive Pokemon in the game, brother. I am one of the most defensive Pokemon in the game. And I'm going to go for an iron defense here. I'm going for an iron defense. I'm at plus five, baby. You are not touching me. You go for a sword dance, that's fine. If I had body press right now, oh, you'd be so in trouble if I had body press right now. If I had body press, you'd be so pressed. All right, unfortunately, I have to go for a close combat here. I unfortunately have to go for a close combat. Hopefully a close combat can do some damage. How much is the bullet punch doing? It's not doing nothing. And we get the close combat off. Oh, we're doing over half too? Oh, I can, and that's the best part is I can live another bullet punch. I can live another bullet punch. I am here for this today, baby. I am here for this. If I had, oh, if I just had body press. I was thinking either body press or close combat. I should have went with uh, body press. But either way, we're going to get another close combat off. Do we take a bullet punch? We have to, right? We're only minus one. Yeah, we take that. Zamazenta. I see why you're in the OU tier, baby. All right, so unfortunately, our defense is going to fall. So I think we're back at, mm, I think we're at plus two defense. I think we're back at plus two, or two defense, which is fine, because now he's probably going to send in Reverum. So unfortunately, Torterra didn't really get to do much this game. But if I do, I do I just go ahead and just Terra? Do I Terra? Because if I Terra here, then he doesn't really have a lot to hit me. Um. Yeah, I'm going to Terra. I'm going to Terra close combat. Yeah, I'm going to Terra close combat 100% all day. Terra close combat. Are we going to get a Zamazenta thumbnail? I think we should. I 100% think we should. Come on. Come on. Dude, the axe in the head looks so nice. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, now I kind of, I don't know. Does this thing deserve to be in the OU tier? I don't know, but that just did over half. That did over half. Air balloon popped. Perfect. Shift gear. So I could be that guy. I actually could be that guy and go for... The only thing is, what are you going to do? I don't think he has anything that wants to touch us. And we're almost full health. So we're just back in neutral, basically. And I... Out, eh, no, I'm not going to outspeed this time. I want to go for a close combat. Let's see what happens with the close combat. I still have five Pokemon. He is going to spin out. Does that take us out? That doesn't even touch us. Sam is that guy. He wants all the smoke. His name is Updog. What's up, dog? Nothing much with you. I love that joke. That joke's my favorite. Okay. Also, this is the uh, the event Zamazent. I've been holding on to this thing. I actually had to like go. Uh, I had to go. Uh, what's it called? This thing. I had to go straight up. Uh, like, get a the right uh, nature mint. Yeah, I had to get the right nature mint. I had to bottle cap this thing. It was a really. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was a lot. So his last Pokemon is going to be the Magnezone. Uh, do I have Pokemon for this guy? I literally have so many Pokemon for this thing. Honestly, I'm going to use my last close combat on this guy. Close combat. The battle is canceled. He knew he was done for. And that's going to be GG's to Aiden. That was an incredible battle, honestly. A really fun, honestly. We actually got to show off the team a lot. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles. And let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build the team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Ooh.